What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Independent Experience. I'm NDXP, and this is your morning market wake up call for Friday, August 7th, 2020. Guys, we had record breaking days on the NASDAQ yesterday. We had record breaking day for gold. We had silver closing in on $30 an ounce. Let's go ahead and jump on into the markets and see where we're starting the day off at. Gold is down slightly from yesterday's video, currently at 2060.31. Silver has gained three cents at 28.29, giving us a ratio of 72.84. Platinum is down currently at 979.14, and palladium has taken quite a hit over the last 24 hours, currently at 22.39.97. In other metals markets, rhodium is steady at 9050 Copper has lost about a penny at $2.92. Aluminum is steady at $0.78. Cents, and uranium is steady at $32.10. Barrels of crude oil are down slightly, currently at $41.41. But we did have great days on Wall Street. As I said, we had a record on the NASDAQ. The Dow Jones was up 185 points, closing out the day at 27,368.98. The NASDAQ was up 109 points, closing above 11,000 for the first time ever at 11,108.07. And the S&P 500 was up 21 points, closing out at 33,49.16. If you guys trade in Bitcoin, those are looking very nice. We're back to about the level we were yesterday at 11,746.92. That is down from a high yesterday evening of 11,900. And if you guys trade in the U2L gold back, those are up two cents at $3.27 a piece. In today's video, I want to discuss um, something that has been weighing on my mind pretty heavily here lately, and that is when do you decide to sell silver and gold? At what level does it have to get to before you're like, all right, I have to take, I have to take some some wins here. I have to take some gains. Um, you know, what level is it? We talk about that a lot from time to time. You know, I think the last time I had a really serious discussion with with a lot of people in the community about it was probably seven eight months ago, beginning of the year, probably before we had the downturn. You know, and I've always said, you know, thirty-five dollars. That's where I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cash out. That's where I'm gonna go. We've we're getting close now, and it's starting to become a real figure to think about. Um, I think you know, back when we were discussing this gold and silver, you know, silver was at sixteen dollars, fifteen fifty, sixteen fifty, somewhere in there. And you know, thirty-five dollars sounded like a very unrealistic number that would be only attainable after you know decades of growth uh, but now it's it's a very real number to have to think about because you know we're coming up on you know we, we neared thirty dollars an ounce yesterday in in silver and we're still around 1825 so uh, during 28 uh, 25 sorry and you know we're seeing these these big jumps in the price of silver and gold and it, you know so it, it it's time to take another hard look at, at what level do you decide you're going to sell? I would be curious to hear what you guys have to say on the subject. Um, for me, I think $35 is probably still a number that I have in my mind that if we get there, that's the number I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to cash in and uh, buy myself a Mercedes or something. I don't know. <laughs> or just buy some, some more gold. Yeah. Ratio is down near 70 now. Am I just moving on over to gold? Who knows? But I'd be curious to hear what you guys have to say on the topic. Speaking of converting things into gold, it's Free Gold Friday. You can convert a comment into gold. Now, this is one one thousandth of a troy ounce. It's not a lot, but... You know what? Every day we re we relay to you the price of these gold bags. And three dollars and twenty seven cents worth of buying power in in a lot of areas right now. So that's a pretty good deal. And well, you're also going to get this bad boy right ooh, right here. Whew, he's looking good. 
So guys, down in the comments, your comment must include the word silver. Pretty easy. That means a lot of people are going to probably, they didn't make it this far in the video. They're going to comment silver. And they're going to be entered. Who knows? We, we're going to try to give it away, guys. All right. So make sure that you comment, that your comment down below includes the word silver. And you are going to be entered into Monday's random comment picker for the Utah Goldback and the new channel sticker. Good luck, everyone. Guys, I do greatly appreciate every single one of you. And if you happen to appreciate old Indy XP, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me right there. It helps me out immensely. If you haven't been new to the independent experience and you want to keep up to date on when all the latest and greatest content is coming out, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe and jingle jingle bell right there in the corner. Big bong so you can keep notified of when all new great content is coming out. I, well, not, not this part yet. This part. We got the box right here. I... I hate this box. I can't get the hands right ever. God, right here. This is going to be the latest and greatest video. You're going to want to check that one out at the end of this one. Now it's time for the outro. Guys, I've been NDXP from the Independent Experience. And I'm here again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find your pockets heavy.